it is Nivellet time today. We're doing more building on this account because both of my other accounts, my main account and supports only, still don't have primos and stuff for pools, so it's big progress on Fontana only, basically. So we got the same stuff we needed. We did with Clorand. We have to do with Nouvellet. We need to level 90, which is going to be interesting. I need to farm more of them again and more of these, which are such a pain. I really don't want to do it, but we're going to... Yep, we have to do that. Plus, we need those. His talents are okay. We just need more of these, and we have one to get... We could get something up. Then we've got artifacts. They are okay at the moment. We're not running anything too crazy, but... There is certainly stuff happening, I guess. And obviously his weapon as well, which is only level 70 at the moment. We need more of the Abyss Mage drops. We are currently sitting at the moment at 26,000 HP. Only 900 attack. 43 to 250. No, 247. With uh, 59, basically 60% hydro damage. And I think a lot of Nubalet stuff scales off of HP. So I do want to get that up a bit. So let's get into the farming because that is what we're going to have to do. We need to farm these and farm these. I'm going to do these first just because they'll reset a little bit quicker. Then I'll be able to farm them tomorrow because there's no way I'm going to farm them all today because it's very painful to farm. And one of the big reasons why I want to get Nouvellet actually pretty decently built sooner rather than later is well not only do I need videos because I don't have stuff ready for all my, all my other accounts. I'm waiting for that lovely free 10 pool to come. But also, I am very much struggling with this event. I have only got silver on all of these, which, I mean, is fine. But I have redone this one like five or six times. And every single time, I'm about three seconds off getting silver. So I need to build Nouvellet so we can actually, hopefully, clear it a little bit easier. And I can at least get my primos. Ah yes, and for a damage test, I don't really need to do this because we use him so much. But, just unbuffed because it's easy to test it out. We do about 11k on the initial hit, and then these hit about 9k. So I'm hoping to get that charged attack up to 10 or 11k for the charged attack unbuffed. I'm pretty sure with him being level 90 and his weapon getting that up to level 90, so we get more crit damage on him and trying to get some more HP. That shouldn't be too hard. It should be pretty easy. I'm only looking for like a 2k increase, which should be pretty manageable. Well, there is all of the crabs that I can currently get from the bounty thing. I do know where a good chunk more are, so I'm going to go grab them. And then we'll just see how much we can craft. I did get a couple of the higher, highest grade drops, so... Hopefully we can get somewhere, but 25 or 20 or whatever it is that we need is not looking too promising. And it looks like we're only just going to have enough of these with some crafting and doing this stuff. We only just have enough, so that's good, I guess. We need these. We can only craft two of them. We can craft 20 of the lower grades, so hopefully that's going to be enough, but probably not. We're probably going to have to go farm some more of the abyss mages now our big problem is how many of these can we craft six we don't need any of them i need all of the highest grade drops how many can we get we can get 18 which is not enough it puts us actually only one short so we it actually could get him up to 90 today which is good and then i'll do the same later with clorand wait for those to reset so i can get these talents up or we could probably just we only need four more so we probably could just do it all today we'll see we do need more of these lumen toil things so we're going to go grab them first though this weapon we can get that up to 80 there we go level 80 now we have we need 18 more of them and two more of them well the abyss mage one is not going to happen the other ones we can craft two more of the those gold so that is good i will just craft 10 because i don't know if we're going to need them for anything else okay so let's do these now okay let's do the abyss mages now just because same with the crabs it'll give it time to reset if i need to farm them tomorrow now i'm not really liking the uh, amount of drops we're getting from 
these guys here. Or the, uh, the lack thereof. Because... Yeah, we kind of need 18 of the highest grade. And we get a lot of that. A lot of lowest grade or second lowest grade. I think I've only gotten like one of the highest grade drops. So fingers crossed we have enough of the other two to actually get 18 of the highest grade. But we will see. And bounty has ended. Let's see what we can do. Let's have a look. We can craft 13 of the middle grade. Which gives us eight of the highest grade, which only gives us a grand total of 13. So we're going to need to farm more of them tomorrow. Or I use the interactive map and farm more, but honestly, I, I kind of despise the interactive map. So we will deal with that later then. We do need 18, right? Yes. Okay. That just leaves us with these. So let's go find these lumen toils. We need 52. There's like 70 something odd in the world, so that should be pretty easy. Hey, here's a question. Could you all uh, not, please? Why is every single enemy over here while well, I'm just trying to collect my lumen toils? Oh, and I don't have any revival items either. Okay, screw it. Lumen toil number 60. I'm leaving. Well, now. We can ascend Nouvellette. We have bang on 60. We have 25 of them. Nouvellette can now go to level, hopefully. Yes, level 90. There we go. Second level 90 character on the account. Now, weapon, we can't do this because we need more of them. Talents, we can not do. We need three more. And charge attack can go to level 7. Or normal attack, charge attack. Because that's the important one doing all the damage. Now let's have a really, really quick look at artifacts and see if I have anything better. Don't like our chances, but we can have a look. I could swap him to this piece. Because it is a little bit less in the crit damage, but that's fine. Because we're leveling up the weapon and we need more crit rate anyway. Plus it has HP percent. So I'm going to swap him to that flower. And then we're running crit damage, crit rate. But I'm going to swap that to a crit rate, crit damage. If we, yeah, we do have one. Do we have any better? No. That one's not bad, I guess. I'd like it if that was HP percent. But, well, let's see how this rolls. Okay, not bad. And last roll goes into death. Okay, not great. But 12% crit damage with the big crit rate is pretty good. So that's a piece of running at the moment. That now puts him at 29,000 HP, which is a little bit more, but still kind of less than I would have liked. And we're at 73 to 204, which is quite nice. We like that some good crit stuff. I will see you tomorrow when we can get that weapon up to level 90. Get some more crit damage on that. And then get a proper test and see what he does with some actual reactions. Okay, we are back. I have already farmed everything. I farmed a couple of my artifacts. We didn't get any upgrades. And I've already farmed the stuff for the weapon. Turns out it hadn't reset, so I just pulled up the interactive map and farmed them. So I could have done that last night, but oh well. Doesn't matter. We now have the perfect amount of each. Four of them, 18 of them, and 12 of them. Now we can go, boom, straight up to level 90, max that out, and there we go. That's Nouvellet now maxed out as well as Clarand. The two big DPSs are now maxed out, mostly. We have Nouvellet's charge attack up to 7, the rest of them up to 6, because we need more of these and I can't farm them because, yeah, I've already farmed them this week. He's at C0. He has decent artifacts. They are okay. They could be... A little bit better. Get some more HP on some stuff. But they are okay, I guess. He has the Wid Sith at level 90. Which it'll do. Gives him crit damage. He's sitting now at 29,000 HP with 73 to 209. Which is pretty decent. I could actually. I was thinking about this. And the team I'm going to run him on is obviously not this team. Because this is Cloran's team. And then we have Nouvellet's team, which is probably going to be pretty similar in terms of the characters I'm using for him just to do a demo and test things out. 
Obviously, it's going to be different when I'm actually playing with him in Abyss and whatever. But in that case, he's still going to have the Traveler on the team. And with the Traveler on the team, we get the Hydro Resonance, which increases our max HP by 25% which will now bring his HP up to 32k, which is pretty good. And the Traveler will do absolutely nothing on this team, except giving us Hydro Resonance. Let's go see what Nouvellet is doing. Let's see what we're hitting. That hit 15k, and that hits 10k. Awesome. Well, that HP increase, I think, is definitely doing good things. Okay, let's see all of the lovely buffs. Burst. 50k I think I saw there. And 24k. So uh, yeah, definitely some increases. Let's go test him out in this event because Pyro Regisvine is not strong enough. It dies immediately. So let's go try him out in this event. This will give us a good damage test. Burst. 60k. There we go. Now we're hitting that, yeah, 10k pretty consistently. Awesome. That's what we wanted. And I think think 20k there because they didn't have pyro come on kill this thing there we go so we we definitely improved because we actually got silver on that one first try without doing it eight times let's see how we go Is that 93k my god there's definitely some buff that's helping us there but hey we cleared that both with 2000 points so i'm happy that event is done so let's, yeah, let's go jump in the abyss, I reckon. I'm not going for any big completion at the moment because I don't really want to and don't really feel like doing abyss right now. Just get a little bit of a damage test out. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is not a fun abyss because of these little guys and I don't want to kill the little, little guys. And also, Cloran's team is going to be a little bit scuffed at the moment, but that's fine. We'll run those teams who have... Loran doing something with burning and aggravate or I don't know what's happening in that second half and the first team will work pretty decently. I really need some more support characters, more off-field elemental appliers. A 48k? Jeez. I kind of want to try to get to like floor 10 at least, which I think we should be able to do because floor 10 will have more tanky enemies where I can actually get a whole rotation out. Floor 9... I probably won't be able to get a whole rotation out. Damn. Cloran's aggravate's actually kind of popping off. Whoa. This team kind of works. 21k's from Cloran with aggravate. My goodness. Okay. She's kind of good in aggravate teams. I might just run her with Emily all the time now. Okay, now we've got some slightly more tanky enemies. Not by much, but they're just a little bit higher level. So now hopefully we can get a full rotation out. And let's see what Nouvellet is doing. Chevrous. Lynette. Into Nouvellet. Hit 40. Is that 47k? Now we're hitting 16k's on the charge attack. 12k. Damn, okay. Burst. 32k. And then 10Ks, 13Ks. Damn. Not bad, actually. That is, with all the buffs, more damage than I was expecting. Well, I'll take that. We're definitely doing more damage, which is very, very nice. I can't really be bothered to do the rest of this abyss, so I'm just going to clear this floor or chamber. So I don't, because I don't really feel like doing more abyss today. Also, Chlorand is 100% going to stay on an aggravate team because she does good damage in it. Hey, we get Battle Pass level 40. That means we get another pool. Or a, we get a pool. What are we going to get? Four star? Something usable. I mean, I guess it could be usable. Well, I'd say that's pretty good damage increase. Nouvellet, be quiet. Considering we were hitting about 20k on a burst. The big hit of the burst. And then... 12 from the initial hit that one and about six i think from the charge attack and now the charge attack's doing anywhere from like 10 to 17k this is doing anywhere from like 13 to 22k and his burst does anywhere from 
30 to 98k because i think i saw a 98k at some point so i mean that's big damage hell yeah that's what we like to see that's definitely the biggest damage this account i could probably actually check that okay i have hit almost 200k at some point yeah i'm gonna say that is most likely from someone's character trial but i'm pretty sure we did hit like 90 something k which is definitely the biggest damage that we have done with our own characters on this account so that is very very nice and nouvellet is now doing big damage and he will carry this account easily so with that being said i think it's a good spot to leave it off so i hope you guys enjoyed if you like sort of content do consider subscribing and uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed and good Bye.